Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of the Weekend Angler. Today I'm trying something a little bit different. I'm doing the intro from the truck. Not really sure how this is going to turn out, but uh, felt like changing it up a little bit today. Uh, today I'm headed over to Crab Orchard Lake in southern Illinois. I haven't been on that lake since last fall. And I'm going to try, to, try my hand at doing some bass fishing today. Now, I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Yesterday probably was the day I should have hit the water, but I uh, wasn't able to. The high temperature yesterday was around 75 degrees. We had a good south wind, and uh, we had an approaching cold front. Well, that cold front went through last night. Uh, came through with some showers and thunderstorms. And now here we are today. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, the temperature is only 40 degrees. We got north wind, wind chill about 32, and they're actually calling for one to two inches of snow here tomorrow. So pretty wild weather for March, but you know, nothing too out of the ordinary for Illinois, I suppose. But, uh, I'm gonna get on the water. See how it goes from there. Planning on throwing some lipless crankbaits, a spinner bait, uh, so probably a jig, and uh, probably a plastic worm. Not really sure what the fish are going to want today. I'm going to try to focus on reaction strikes. I don't think they're going to be actively feeding today with the weather as screwed up as it is. But uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you on the water. There we go. GoPro, take a photo. Not very big, but uh, he hit that spinner bait or crank bait. I'm sorry. We're in about uh, 11 or 12 feet of water, and uh, right before he, right before he hit, I could feel the uh, feel my crank bait dragging along the bottom there. There must be uh, felt like there was some rubble or maybe some sticks down there. It run through that. I could feel it flip it up over that. I'm right in there again. He picked it up right out of there.
Oh, we got good fish here. Son of a bitch. He took that and ran that straight towards the boat. That's a good fish. I tried to hog him. Let's see if we can see if there's any more out there. That was a good fish on that half ounce rattle trap. picked up today. There we go. It's a good fish. What's on this point? A white bass, a decent white bass. So, uh, ain't not really what we're after. We'll let him go. Those things always feel heavier than they are when they hit. They're hit real aggressive uh, I'm sure most of you have caught one before if you haven't they're fun to catch and uh, this lake's known for uh, having some decent uh, white bass in it I used to in uh, February and March used to come out here with my grandpa and we would uh, run jigs down the points and catch us a mess of white bass used to have a good time doing that We're going to move back up here and see if we can find another one. Uh, they seem to be actively feeding. They're liking this uh, rattle trap. Almost landed that into my thumb. There's 
There's another one. He come off that one lone stick up there. He's not very big. But he ate it. I'll have to get the pliers out for that one. big bass but he uh, tried to eat it like he was let's get off those uh jump ashore there well folks not too bad of a day out on the lake today it took me a while to uh, find something that they would pattern on uh, they ended up liking the rattle trap more than anything else uh, did catch one bass more or less in open water I was uh, throwing a Strike King 5XD crankbait and uh, but the majority of the catches came off of a chartreuse black bag uh, half ounce rattle trap and uh, that wind was something fierce today it uh, started coming up getting going but uh, all in all, not a bad day on the lake. I think I come up with uh, three or four fish. Had one nice one. I'm assuming now was probably a white bass. Um, had that come unbuttoned. Uh, he ran towards the boat with it, as you saw, and uh, he was able to get some slack in his line. And when I caught back up to him, he popped right off. So you know that's going to happen sometimes. But, uh, you know, tell you what, a uh, 40, 45 degree day here in, uh, here in March, I wasn't expecting a whole lot today and I ended up catching more fish than I thought I was going to. I thought I was, went out thinking I'd probably end up getting skunked today. So guys, appreciate you watching my videos and uh, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. And uh, it's gonna start getting warmer here real soon and the fish are gonna move up to spawn. And uh, hopefully we're going to have some better catches, bigger fish for you all to see. So, guys, take care. See you next time. Thanks a lot for watching.